I cannot tell you how long it has been since I have legitimately cleaned my under cabinet bathroom storage. I'm almost scared to open this because like things are gonna come flying out. Things go in here to die. Products go in here to never be used again. I always put them under my cabinet, my under my sink and think that I'm gonna grab them again and then I don't. And then here we are years later. It's been, year, it's been way too long. I don't even know what's in here anymore. And that's a problem we gotta go through. On this side of my cabinet though, I do have a lot of hair care products. Why do I have so many? I only use the same three or four products on repeat without fail. So why am I hoarding all these other ones? I don't know. And like, I even have drawers that have spilled over into this, this storage is bountiful enough for me and what I use. Why am I not utilizing it correctly? Because I am lazy. I have my whole makeup area. You guys know, if you watch my declutter videos, I do my makeup declutters all the time, probably do for another round of that, but not before. I will not let myself do makeup declutter until I take care of this situation. So we have hair care we're decluttering. We have body care, lots of body care, some skin care maybe, I don't know. It's just, it's a mess. So if you wanna come along with me, you know you probably have a part of your house that needs to be decluttered too and reorganized. So find that area, sit down with me and we'll be each other's moral support and we'll get through this because we gotta do it. Why are we keeping all this rubbish? Hmm? Why, 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 why? I need to utilize this space and make it work because you guys, I constantly, leave things all over my countertop and that's just messy and it doesn't look good and I want a clear countertop it looks so satisfying when my countertops are clear and if I have the space to put things in which I do just not utilizing it properly then I'll do it and it'll be much more kumbaya so anyways we're gonna get started and if you like declutter videos like this make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on my next one like I said I have some more coming my name is Ashley Alex by the way if you don't know me but I know a lot of you guys stopping by are already subscribers of mine and thank you so much for coming back but I'm ready to dive into these cabinets and if you are too then let's go boo boo this side is overwhelming to look at. So let's start with this side that I know is gonna be, it's gonna, everything's gonna be okay. This is the hair care side and also the nail polishes, which I already recently did a nail polish declutter, so we don't have to do that today, but I need to access it easier. It's like way back here. Why am I doing this to myself? I don't know, but we're gonna solve it today. So let's take out the hair care products. I got a bag of extensions over here, which I recommend storing in a separate area like this. I do grab these sometimes. Let's get these out. <laughs> Listen, you're gonna see hair, you're gonna see gunk, but we will clean it as we go, okay? Um, so here's the thing too. I used to work at a beauty boutique and some of these products are from like way back then, which like that means I, I gotta go. It's been like four or five years, okay? Starting with this Alterna Bamboo, like that's done. It's done skis. How about this? I think this will be easier. I'll pull out the products that I do still use on the daily, which is the Amica Plus Size Perfect Mousse. I use this Eva NYC hair oil. It's awesome. I do need to clean that one up though. The IGK Mistress Hydrating Balm, do that too. Um, I never, I never grab this anymore, but it's like a full can. Uh, so I guess I'll hang on to that because waste not want not, right? These hairsprays, these hairsprays suck. So are there any other products though that I'm just like, for sure, I, I use this one, but where's the lid? Where's the lid? If I find it, I'll keep it, but if not, I can't use it anymore. It's a mousse and I need the little sprayer. This is done. There's one more use out of it, but I can't, it doesn't. I used to like this, the Mika Bust Your, Bust Your Brass, but it uh, goes too much on certain areas and then it looks too violet and then it just looks uneven. So I think I'm done with that. Uh, I bought this Verb sea salt spray and I think it's gone bad. I don't remember it being that color. So, and it smells kind of, kind of bizarre. I did not use this nearly enough, man. What a bummer. That's bad. I used to love this Philip B stuff. I don't think they're cruelty free anymore anyways, but uh, it smells, it smells off. That's where that Amica spray is. This little wizard thing, whatever it's called. It is a detangler and it is amazing. Let me tell you, I'm gonna get a full size of that one next time. Oh my gosh, how long have I had that? Who knows? Okay, anything else in here? No, 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 no. This is a brush cleaner. Okay, first round of declutter. Those are all the things I'm gonna be decluttering. Not too bad. Off to a good start. That's at least half the collection. And I found some things that like I forgot about, little travel size doodads that I wanted to try. So that's good. 
Oh man, hair oil has spilled all over the cabinet, so I definitely need to wipe everything down. These are the nail products that I need to put in a bigger basket anyway, so I think I'll use this one I just emptied to be my nail basket. Another hair product I got to get rid of. It's just, it's, it's freaking empty anyways. Why do I have it? And another one. A bunch of face masks that fell down that are like, okay, why, 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 why? Get rid of, get rid of. I think these are good. These are foot pumices, I think. Why do I have so many? I didn't even know I did. Oh yeah, there are a ton, a ton of foot pumice stones, but they're reusable and washable. So I don't know why I have so many. Maybe I'll gift some. And yeah, here's another one. So, okay. Oh, and here's, hey, look it. Here is, I think the top of that, that moose. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Now it's still, now it's still usable. Cool. I was just going to move everything into this big one for the nails, but I actually have these little storage containers that I think once I, once I clear those out, I'll, I'll, uh, organize the, the nails that way. You'll, you'll see, you'll see. Okay. Let's tackle this beast over here. I think what I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to go through and declutter everything and then reorganize it. Cause there's these little baskets down here that might be good to separate nail polish things. So like, you know, top coats and then the actual color and then like my foot pedicure stuff. I think that'll be the best way to do it starting with these box like this is my birth toothbrush i've had this for two years guys why do i why i can recycle this why do i hoard it that's the that's the theme of today is why 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 same thing with this ears this one me box this is the hair extension box i mean i guess i didn't realize i had that travel thing that i showed you already that is a way better for that so bye 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 just like in sync said bye 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 will i ever use this probably not but maybe I have a ton of like the little storage containers that my makeup used to be in in here. If I can't find a use for them, I have to. Somewhere around my house, I have to find a use for them, but they're not serving any purpose down here. So let's get rid of them from in here. That's a glove for self tanner. Okay. This has got to go into my like relic storage, which I now have. So I'm gonna put that there. I have all these like lush containers, but not enough to like turn it in. I think it's five and I don't go through their products very often, very fast. Ugh, maybe I should just recycle them and just give it to them and just be like, I'm done. I can't hoard them anymore. I don't know. Like you get like a free fresh, fresh face mask or something if you recycle them. All these skincare products that I was sent in PR that I'm not gonna use, I can give to my family members that love them. So let me do that pile. This Castile soap looks done. Who remembers this perfume? I can't get rid of this. This was like my go-to perfume in high school and more and more. This isn't from high school though, actually. Someone found this for me at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something years ago. And oh my goodness, it brought back so many memories and I loved it but um, there's like a little tiny bit left that I need to keep for just pure nostalgia purposes. Same thing with any like of these Victoria's Secret perfumes I find back here and like juicy perfumes. Basically I need to have like a little relic area for sure. I had the sense to label this one, 2018 it says. Yeah, uh, five years? Yeah, it's gotta go, got to go. Cool. It looks like one of our pipes might have leaked at some point and I didn't know it. It's not actively leaking right now. I just checked, but this whole section back here is ruined. So another reason to do your declutters, make sure your pipes aren't leaking. Wow. <clears throat> All of this has to go. Look, another relic. Who had one of these at NYX contour kits? The good news is everything's coming up really easily when I'm cleaning it. This is a face mask that like gotten a little bit wet and peeled off really gross. But it's coming off. I just got to scrub at it. Okay, so I just did some deep cleaning. It looks a lot better. And then once that deep cleaning was done, I took the magic eraser and scrub a dub dub on all the stains. I was able to get that like, you know, the whatever off the product 
thing off, but it is still stained. It is what it is. I mean, at the end of the day, these are over 20 year old cabinets, so I can only do so much, but at least there's no mold or any issues like that. And it's looking ready to organize. I got rid of a lot of stuff. I'm really proud. So I have these little containers that are like attachable to others. I think I got them at Dezo, like literally, obviously years ago. So I'm gonna do like a nail set real quick, kind of organize it that way. Okay, thank you. I don't wanna put it right there though. Can you go take that over there? You can go put some stuff in it. Thank you. So on this side, I'm gonna have all my base coats, top coats, nail files, special effects, all of that I have lined up. And then over here, I have all my actual polishes and glitters. On the bottom, I'm gonna actually stack these. I don't need my fit, foot pedicure stuff as often, so that's gonna be all that, plus like press on nails that I can customize and everything. And I think I'll put my self tanning products on the other side of the bottom, because again, I don't do that very often, so I don't need to grab it as much. I want the stuff on top and easy access that I grab the most often. Self tanner stuff, please. Can I have that black thing over there, please? I need this. This one. That one's ripped. And I think I'm gonna slide this over here, actually. Because again, I mean that's only like what every other every few weeks that I grab that. I'm gonna put my hair stuff right here. I'm not gonna put my hair stuff in a basket because it just falls over in the basket. So I'm just gonna line them up according to what I use the most, I guess. Okay. And also I realized my husband has a whole like cabinet system underneath his sink and I always put my shampoos and body washes and stuff in there. I'm gonna start putting them in here now. <laughs> so he can have his cabinets back too. Okay, I also have all my hairsprays and dry shampoos put in here. Those were in a drawer before, but I'm gonna put them down here. This new heartbeat, ready? Boom, 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 boom. Okay, let me show you what we're working with now because this is a million miles better. I don't know how this is gonna go without being in a container of some sorts, but you know, I used to work in boutiques. I used to work in retail. I used to straighten up bottles. We'll see, it's just I got my toddler who is a little bit handsy, but she's handsy whether there's a container or not. So I think this will work out my dry shampoos and hairsprays over here. I did it from order of like what you would start with. So shampoos and conditioners, deep conditioners, little fun sprays, got my mousses. These are the two products. I basically, I just, when I wet my hair, I use a mousse, then I use an oil, then I seal it with some kind of serum or something. And right now it's that one. And then I have my other, you know, things of the same sort. I got some texture sprays, my dry shampoo, my hairspray extensions in the back, some tampons. With, and then back here I have some individual lashes. I've had them for years. I gotta decide if I'm gonna just get rid of them because I don't use them. I don't use individual lashes. Got my nail stuff over here. <laughs> Excuse me, little one. I gotta show them all their nail polishes. And like I said, I got my base coat, top coats, treatments, files, and my fun polishes. On the bottom <laughs> I have, don't mind the little helper today. On the bottom I have my foot stuff. 
and then my self tanning products. In the very back, that basket just has all my brush cleaning products in it. So my brush mat, brush shampoos, all that, that can just be shown about. And that is so much better. I got rid of so much stuff. So now I need to go through everything, recycle it. It is like a bag and a half full of stuff. Unfortunately, from waiting so long, I wasn't able to, you know, be able to just pass it on to my loved ones who love my declutters. You know, my friends and family love when I do my declutters because I usually pass them on anything that's still like sanitary and usable and that I think will be fun for them. But there was only like a handful of stuff this round, which makes me like that much more goal oriented that I need to do this way more often. This was just an abandoned. It's like Phoebe's, not Phoebe's, it's like Monica's closet and friends. That was my Monica's closet because my makeup is so organized, everything, not everything in my house organized, but like it's pretty clean and tidy. This is like my forbidden. <laughs> land. I already did some of my, what I threw under my husband's and I moved it over here. I still need to finish that whole area. There was a purple shampoo that spilled. So that's not a lot. It's not really enough to film and it's mostly his stuff, but I got to go through that later. I do need to do my medicine cabinets though. Cause I have a skincare cabinet and then I have like a body care that I use often. So maybe I'll film that next and uh, show you that. So subscribe so you don't miss out on the next declutter. And like I said, I got some more makeup to do, but seriously, I got to keep in mind to do these more frequently. Now it's pretty much a lot of that stuff though was from back when I worked at the, the beauty boutique. So I got a lot of hair like gratis, they called it, which was like, um, like rewards. You got to pick stuff and then vendors would give me stuff to try. So a lot of that stuff was just left over for that. But again, I wish I did it sooner because it could have gone to a better home and be utilized more than me just trying it a couple times. Bye. And now, now that I'm into nail polishes, it's nice to have a more organized space for that. I didn't use a lot of nail polish before I used a lot of gels and stuff. I mean, I still do my fake nails and everything. And I lost one today in this fiasco when I was scrubbing and cleaning, but I needed to replace that one anyways, because it was kind of thin compared to the rest, which is weird. I'm rambling, but thank you so much for coming by to this declutter. I hope that that was satisfying for you because it was for me. I'm so happy. <laughs> So let this inspire you. Let me know if you're gonna do a declutter yourself. What areas of the house are you gonna be working on? I got so much more, but I will see you next time, okay? Bye.